right then the next one is that shit tests are a good thing they're a really 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 good thing they're actually a great thing they're a fantastic thing they're a thing that you want more of in fairness like you really do so effectively it's kind of like this. so what is actually a shit test shit test is when a woman is interacting with a man who she doesn't really know she don't really know him yet like she's in front of him or maybe messaging or whatever but let's say they're in front of each other in person and he's running his spiel she likes his spiel the package that she sees in front of her is appealing all right so she's like okay i like the look of this guy okay i like how he's dressed okay he seems very confident he's even being slightly risque in the things that he's saying okay and then on some level basically it seems to be a subconscious level from what men in this industry have seen but yeah i'm gonna assume it is she will then decide to test the man in order to see if he's really what is portraying himself to be but it's a test that she wants him you me all of us to pass she wants you to pass the test but she needs you to pass the test because it's like okay you're you're presenting yourself as this whatever this great man this amazing man that's what you're doing but are you actually this great man this amazing man is that really who you are so she runs the shit test and the shit test might be something like you're really cocky like she'll call out something like you're really cocky shit test because if you're not actually like confident with the fact of who you are then what will you do you will go um no i'm not really um i'm really a nice guy or something like that you will like break frame break character or whatever and then she might smile in that moment but it's like oh i see or she'll say something like i don't date short guys she would like call out a deficiency something that you lack why because if you are not as confident as you're portraying yourself to be when she says i don't like short guys what are you going to do you're going to get upset about the fact that you're short then you're going to register or well, that's going to register in terms of what you say or how you stand how you act around her and then there you go she's going to now know that you're not what you're portraying yourself to be but she wants you to be what you're portraying yourself to be so that she can be dominated by you she wants you to pass it like she does she wants you to pass it you know the best example of like how men do shit tests I, I, i've created this so i came up with this and this is actually perfect right this is literally um, the male version of a shit test have you ever been let's say you're on like a girl's instagram and you're looking at pictures right and all you can see is pictures of her face but you're like what's her body like so then you start really looking to see what her body's like and you find a picture of her body you want that body to be amazing you do but the thing is, if it's not, if you look at a body and a body's not up to scratch, you're going to, ah, oh, and then your attraction's going to go down. And then women feel about stuff like that the same way we feel about shit tests. That's basically it. It's like, now, okay, I've seen the face. I like the face. I really do. I like what I see. But I also need to know that everything else is up to, up to scratch. If it isn't, and this is it as well. If you're looking at some girl on Instagram and you're checking out her face and then you're trying to look at her body, when you look at her body and decide that her body wasn't good enough, maybe she's fat, and now you decided you're not attracted anymore, you don't give the tiniest crap about her feelings and the fact that you don't care about her being, like, you don't care about her anymore. You, you're just like, ah, well, she's not that hot. You just get on with your life. That's basically it. It's the same principle. So anyway, it's a good thing. It's a very good thing. Shit tests are a good thing because it means you're on the right track. You're on the right track, you're on the right path. With regards to how to pass shit tests, I mean, there's so many ways that people talk about it. It's like, agree and, oh, agree and amplify. So she says, you're short and you go, yeah, I'm Napoleon. I got the Napoleon complex. Or, yeah, what else? Just move the, seat, move the conversation on like, yeah, 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 I'm really short. Anyway, whatever. The basic point is, anything you do to pass a shit test, it doesn't really matter because all you're doing is conveying that you weren't bothered by the thing that happens. That's pretty much it. That's it in a nutshell. In a nutshell. It's kind of like if I walk up to, if a guy my size, yeah, let's say like a guy who's equally as big as me, walks up to me in the street and punches me in the chest, I'm going to respond a certain way as a result because I'm going to feel a threat from this guy 
And that threat is going to inform what I then choose to do next, whether I fight him, whether I run, blah, blah, blah. However, if that guy was Vern Troyer and Vern Troyer walked up to me and kicked me in the shin, what am I going to do? I'm just going to giggle, aren't I? Why? Because I know for a fact, even if I'm with my girlfriend, let's imagine I'm with my girl, right? I'm with, I'm with my wife. I'm with my wife and I'm with my children, okay? I'm the man, I have to protect this family. Some man who's about my size or bigger walks up to me and like punches me. Now's the time for me to man up and protect my family. If I don't do it, I'm gonna look stupid. That's gonna inform what I then choose to do. Vern Troyer runs up with his little squeaky voice and then does he even walk? I don't even know if he even walks, he might be in a chair, but he kicks me in the shin. Then what happens? I laugh because I know there's absolutely zero threat. Because I know the zero threat and I've got nothing to worry about. I laugh and that just conveys it to everybody. That's basically the whole, that's the fundamental thingy of a shit test. That's the point. You just ignore it. And because it's nothing. And she feels that it's nothing. And she wants it to be nothing as well. She does. But she can't ask you. She can't say, Kieran or Gabriel or Gail or Matthew or Renee, Renee or Rue or Schlesinger or Zach. She can't ask you guys, hey, if I insult you, will you not be bothered? Because you'll, of course, say, yeah, I totally wouldn't be bothered at all. Of course I wouldn't. But that would be potentially BS. So she needs to trick you. What's up? It's Joe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Just to remind you guys, we do live Zoom calls like this every single Sunday. So to get involved in the next one, navigate yourself to gameglobal.net forward slash zoom and register your place. Also wanted to mention that Game Academy VIP members, they get access to our archive of all of our previous Zoom calls and they can look at these whenever they want. That's one of tons of bonuses that you get for being a Game Academy VIP member. You can learn more about this at gameglobal.net forward slash academy.